So what's wrong with Christian games? Stay tuned. My name is Zeke Matthew, and welcome to Animated Christians, where we discuss questions about the church as well as original content. So let's look at Christian games, and for simplicity, I'm including video games, role-playing games, tabletop games, board games, card games, etc. because they all have the same issue. But first, we need to define what a game is, and a definition of what a game is, any form of play or way of playing, amusement, recreation, sport, frolic, playlink. So looking at this definition, it's types of activities that we either create to amuse ourselves or to have fun with. Games should be fun, but unfortunately most Christian games are not, and you will see why in a moment. First of all, all Christian games have either been hard to learn because you must know something of the Bible to play, or there's so many rules in the game that it causes you to give up before you even get started. Plus, most of the time, they're not very pick up and play, but more like a workout trying to figure out the game mechanic and how it should function. By that time, people have moved on to something easier to play than your own game. So Christian games are hard to learn, and you must know something of the Bible to play them, and they're not very pick up and play material. So how can we fix this issue? Well first, when designing your game, does not matter what you're creating, you need to make it possible for anyone to be able to play. Like say, the Wii Sports. Back when the Wii was popular, it had you pick up and play ideally without having to figure out control of the game. Another is Apples and Apples game, which is a fairly easy game to pick up. First, your game should be a pick up and play, meaning anyone one can join in with or without experience so people can get into your game. Second, make the controls and mechanics with not a lot of commands or learning or rules. Make just enough rules where it's playable but not enough where you're going to overwhelm the person playing. Third, do not have a lot of micromanagement stuff in your game because it bogs down the experience. And one of the reasons I've never played the video game Left Behind Eternal Forces because it's so complicated to even get up and running and then having to micromanage everything. It's just too much. Your game should be fun to play with others. When people are playing your game, make sure they're having fun with the game. Second, make the game challenging but not unbearable so that we can enjoy the game even more. You do not have to use Bible verses if you don't want to create something unique to you and your game that no one has ever done before. But if you do put Bible verses in there, then I recommend you make it interesting and make it short verses, not long ones, so if a person who's never read the Bible can still pick up and play. As for the video game aspect, your gameplay should be simple, easy to understand, and grasp, and it should not take players 5 hours to learn to move forward. Get it down as simple as possible, and create challenges along the way, by like new items if you like, but not enough to overwhelm the player because you want the player to have fun with your video game, and be creative because you were designed to be creative just like God is creative in his creation. You should do the same and don't feel like you have to fit in a certain mold all the time. So I hope this helped give you some simple and practical stuff in how to improve your game and make it enjoyable. And join me next Friday where we will discuss books and never forget Animated Christian is just for you.